How's it going everyone? What's up? So today we have this Predator pressure washer, 3100 PSI, 2.8 gallons per minute, six and a half horsepower gas engine. It's a Predator 212 put together with a pump. So what we see here is what we have. I don't know much about it, except I do have a hose for it and I have a wand I have the cover as well. I don't know why it wasn't attached, but it wasn't. The only thing I've done so far is I pulled on the handle to make sure it wasn't seized, and I checked to see if there was any oil. And there was both pretty good oil. It's not new, but it's not bad. And the engine is not seized. It does feel a little funny, though. Not quite sure what's going on there. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to put a little fuel down the, the intake here and then give it a pull and see if it turns on. And if it does, I guess we can also check if there's fuel in here. Mm, just a little bit. I don't know if you can tell, but it's definitely a little bit of fuel, not a whole lot. That's not a horrible thing though. I'm not a fan of these Predator fuel tanks or engines in general, but you know, it's a relatively inexpensive machine if it gives you 3100 PSI, 2.8 gallons per minute. There's some type of formula to get the cleaning units. That's actually pretty decent for this size of motor. So I'm going to go ahead, let's go put a little fuel or fluid down there and then we'll see if it turns on. Last weekend I was at Harbor Freight because I was looking at a toolbox. Didn't get it because I didn't have it, but uh, I was walking down the engine aisle and I remember back in the day you can get a coupon and these would be $99. I kid you not, they were 179 bucks. It was weird. I don't know what was going on. Maybe they're just that expensive now. Everything is, I suppose, but... Like that is a, a difference. Um, it is set to on. Oh, I think I heard something. Well, we appear to have a good sounding engine. Um, huh. okay, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do what most people probably should do, assuming they don't want to clean the whole carb. I'm going to try to not remove all of it entirely and see if we can not just do a homeowner cleaning. How's that? There we go. Cover your ears, headphone users. I'll wait. Okay. So I know I said I wasn't going to be removing the carb, and I'm not. However, I do want to remove this plastic just to kind of give ourselves a little bit of breathing room and filming room. Oh, the fuel's off. Wouldn't that be funny? This whole thing was just because the fuel wasn't on. Granted, the tank is pretty much empty, so. Uh, yes, we have the vent. There we go. Yeah, another vent. So many vents on this thing. There we go. So you don't necessarily have to do that part, but if I were you, I still would. So let's get a 10 millimeter wrench. Helps if we loosen. There we go. Oh.
Can we do this with our fingers? Oh, we can. Okay. Yeah. Was not horrible. Well, like I said, you don't have to do this. We're doing this for your benefit. And to be honest, it's a lot easier. So, bowl is clean. Bowl gasket more or less stayed on there. Let's turn on the fuel. See if there's anything in there. It's not. Okay, that's good. Now, because we are lucky enough to have room, let us take a small screwdriver. Try to take out the jet. Can't get in my room. I need to be where you are, so I'm gonna go ahead and switch up the little space. I only got the crack. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna blow through there, uh, take like a wire from a wire wheel. Let's also open the choke. Since we're able to Let's see we can't push this there we go we'll that. I'm gonna do the exact same thing with this go through there make sure all the little passageways are clean and then bring everyone back and there we have it Molson tube goes in like so there's this little piece in the fatter end fatter ends on the bottom now this is gonna be Probably not very fun. The thread's gone first. I'm gonna hold it in place. I get my screwdriver. Now the screwdriver is pretty important. You want to make sure it's not too small. Otherwise, you're gonna just strip the brass out. You're not gonna be able to get it out. Well, that's not the world's worst thing. You can still try to clean it with a stuck in there. It's not a good idea. Now, if your carb is completely trashed, you can get an aftermarket um, G, what is it? A GX 190 or 200. And it should be exactly the same as this. That's pretty clean. Just gonna put the bowl back on. Make sure the bowl seal is where it should be. Wow, come on. Ah. I just realized my mic wasn't on my shirt. Hopefully everyone heard everything. But if not, put the bowl seal or the Molson tube in first, jet, bowl, done. Now, if you have removed the cover as well, you're gonna put everything back together. I would definitely remove pretty much anything you can without having to move the carb, of course. Just like I said, to make things a lot easier. Put all those back to where they were. There we are. I'll put all the vents back on. I'll probably off camera. Let me get that tightened up and then put a little fuel in there and we'll see how it works. Yeah, here we go. Get on. Fuel is on. 
the choke is on, but I just turned the fuel on. So let's go ahead and wait for a moment. While we're waiting, let's have a chat. Chat is, why would you not want to remove the carb? For two main reasons. One, you don't have to worry about ripping a gasket. That's pretty important. If you don't have one, that could pretty much make or break your day. You might be able to get around it, but it's pretty shady. Second, the linkages. Some machines can get quite annoying. If you have the space like we do here, and you don't have to worry about messing up the linkages, it's usually a good thing. Bowl's dry. That's good. So, I say, let's give it a pull. And you can run a pressure washer without water on it for a short period of time without hurting it. Well, I guess that means we need to put the hose on, connect it to water, and see what happens. Everything is prepped. Put the hose on. We've got most of the air bubbles out. Now, when you do this for the first time, if you don't know how old it's been or how long it's been, take the tip out. You don't want to plug a tip, especially when you turn it on. That's dangerous. Looks like a good little functioning machine. You have to love the fact that a pressure washer is the only machine out there that can clean itself. But, yep, simple. Old gas. So, if you're having this problem, you don't have to take your carb off, you don't have to do a whole lot. You literally just can just take the bowl off, give it a good cleaning. If you can't take the jet out, that's fine. Take your air compressor or a can of compressed air. Try to blow through there as much as you can. That should be probably okay. It may have a little sputtering here and there. Maybe it'll work its way through. If not, you will just have to either A, replace the carb, or B, clean the carb properly. But this is good for slight blockage. If there is junk in the bottom of the bowl, which there was not, this could potentially work, but it's just best to kind of clean it. But for something like this, this is perfect. I'm going to leave you with that. If you like what you see, keep watching. Subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at smallandjo101. I'll catch you on the next video. Have a good night.